All right, so distance from a point to the line. So the first thing we need to note over here is that the distance is the perpendicular distance from a point to a line. So let's say we have a line over here like this. And here's this particular point over here. We'll call this point P. And this point is 1 minus 4 3 and it extends let's extend it to the line and this over here ang this angle over here is a 90 degrees angle so the equation of the line is mentioned as 2 1 1 plus lambda 1 minus 1 2 so the first thing I do over here is write my line equation into parametric form so if I write the line equation parametric form, this will be 2 plus lambda, 1 minus lambda, and 1 plus 2 lambda. Right, so this is the parametric form equation of the line. Now, this point over here, the intersection point, oh sorry, uh, the point, uh, the point where the p, uh, the point basically point F that creates a 90 degrees angle on the line, we'll call this the foot of a perpendicular on the line. Foot of the perpendicular because uh, at this point uh, the line passing through P creates a 90 degrees angle. So, step one, step one will be to find the vector PF. Now, we know um, that. Uh, R is basically any random point on the line. So I can simply say that OF equals to my line equation which was in the parametric form. So OF is 2 plus lambda 1 minus lambda and 1 plus 2 lambda. Right? So this, uh, so OF is any point on the line, but we know that OF is basically the point with that creates a 90 degrees angle. So for, to find PF, it's basically OF uh, minus OP. So OF minus OP. So 2 plus lambda minus 1. So this becomes 1 plus lambda. Then it becomes 1 minus lambda minus minus 4. So this becomes 5 minus lambda and then it becomes 1 plus 2 lambda minus 3 so minus 2 plus 2 lambda so this is my vector PF the next step is that you dot PF so PF was 1 plus lambda 5 minus lambda and minus 2 plus 2 lambda you dot PF to the direction vector of the line. The direction vector over here was 1 minus 1 and 2 and you set it equals to 0. And the reason why we will set it equals to 0 is because the line passing through PF basically creates a 90 degrees angle with the, uh, with the line and the, ve the direction of the line, that's the direction vector, uh, if we dot a direction vector with the line PF, it's supposed to uh, result in an angle of 90 degrees and, the direct and when you dot two vectors that create a 90 degrees angle, um, the result is always zero. So that's why we equate it equals to zero and you find the value of lambda. So the value of lambda, so you'll solve this, so this will be 1 plus lambda minus 5 plus lambda and minus 4 plus 4 lambda you set it equals to 0 and your value of lambda is 4 upon 3 the next step is you plug lambda back into PF so when you plug lambda into PF this becomes 1 plus lambda so 1 plus 4 upon 3 1 mi uh, 5 minus lambda so 5 minus 4 upon 3 and finally minus 2 plus 2 lambda so minus 2 plus 2 into 4 upon 3 right and so PF the vector PF is 7 upon 3 
11 upon 3 and 2 upon 3. So this is my direction vector PF, um, basically the vector from the point P to the intersection point on the line, uh, on the line L that creates a 90 degrees angle. Now, now that I've now that I have the uh, vector PF, all I need to do is find the magnitude because the magnitude is basically the length of the vector and the vector PF is basically from the point to the line. So the magnitude will be the distance from the point to the line. So if I find the, um, the magnitude of PF, so the magnitude of PF will be 7 upon 3 squared plus 11 upon 3 squared plus 2 upon 3 squared and the whole thing under root and then you get your final answer and this answer that you'll get is basically your distance from the line from the point to the line